Welcome to a video edition of the Coaching Coordinator Podcast where we share resources from Coach2. This is something we're trying out and if it works well and you like it, we'll do some more. So today we're going to focus on RPO drills for your quarterback. Today we're going to focus on RPO drills for your quarterback. If you ask any offensive coordinator who utilizes RPO how much repetition it takes to get the reads correct and footwork and ball handling efficient, they'll tell you that you have to work on it and dedicate time to it. The reality is that all teams cannot be dedicated to the RPO. If you want to properly prepare things in your game plan, you're going to have to spend time in practice, in drills, in group periods to do that. The good news is that it can be done even in small spaces of a gym. Today I share information from four offensive coordinators who are featured on CoachTube on how to be efficient and effective in getting your quarterbacks as many reps as you can. Let's start with getting warmed up. Josh Linke is the head coach at Otsego High School in Ohio, and he feels strongly about preparing his quarterback to throw in an awkward position. And they may end up in these positions when they're doing their RPO footwork with the mesh and the throw. So to do this, he incorporates simple drills in quarterback warm-up routine, and he shows those in this. Your indie RPO drills, again, like we talked about, okay, your guy's got to have the tools. Um, We can't just go out and tell him, hey, you know, go run your, your power glance RPO. And we call it, we don't give him the tools um, when the footwork um, in order to be proper on that RPO. So um, what we do every day, and this is just a static drill to get warmed up. This is quick for us, two, three minutes. All right. Those guys are just going to go feet parallel and they're going to warm the upper or warm the upper body up, twist the hips, um, get up on the balls of their feet. Now we go easy way. Meaning when I talk about easy way, that means that front foot opposite of his throwing arm, which is he's a righty, so he's going to put that left foot forward, just a slight six inch step. Okay, he's going to put that foot forward and throw the football. Okay, now you're going to go hard way and now you got to twist your hips a little bit more. All right, and that right foot is going to be forward with that right arm. Okay, get him used to throwing in those awkward throwing positions, awkward angles. So easy way, hard way. Then we're going to transition into a back away. Okay, so he's going to put his back and I'm going to stand behind him over in this area over here and call ball. He is going to flip over his left shoulder, his opposite shoulder, which is his easy way. And he's going to pop, pop, one, two, okay, with his feet to get in a good throwing spot. Again, this is just getting those feet moving, getting that quick fluid movement with the feet in terms of the RPO game, pop, pop, ball. Same thing over here, back away, pop, pop, ball. Now he's going to go hard way. So he's going to turn over that same side throwing shoulder. All right. And now when he flips, you don't want him to ever lift both feet off the ground when he throws this football. Okay. You want it to be a one, two movement. Um, So he's always in a good position to throw. So again, he's going to pop, pop. I'm just going to say ball, pop, pop, throw the football. Now you're going to walk away with it. So same exact drill, but now you're just walking away. You're going to flip over the easy way, and then you're going to flip over the hard way as well. So I'm just going to be back behind him and call walk away, ball, pop, pop, get rid of the football. Now you're going to do it the hard way, walk away, pop, pop, ball. And again, notice our guy here. He's leaning back on this back foot. That's what we do not want that, okay? We want those hips to be moving forward, okay? And we want him to have a – we don't want him to be too tilted up here. All right, we don't want that front shoulder to be too tilted up. We, can't, we want that thing to be level, all right, when he goes and throws the football to the target. And we want this, this is teaching them to not get too overextended, okay, when they throw. Now, turn two, what we talk about all the time in terms of uh, the RPO game. All right, he's just going to turn two, meaning <clears throat> he's catching that football easy way here, okay, the back is away from him. So let's say the back's over here. All right, this is a pre-snap RPO over here. He's just turning, kept turning two, throwing the football to his target, like a shortstop going from, uh, from second base to first. You can snap it to him, all right, um, or he can snap it to himself, but always simulate the snap, okay? Never just have him static and catch the football and throw it. Always have him simulate that snap to get his feet moving towards the target. Now he's got to clear the running back. So let's say the running back is same side here, and he's got a flash fake across. 
all right? But he's got a really good pre-snap look, meaning – um, that backer is tight. That stand backer is tight. That nickel defender is tight. Um, that this RPO out here, whether it's a bubble or a missile, is basically two on one. It's uncovered for the good guys. Um, he can just throw that thing right out right now without even ride reading it. So he's got to clear the back and get it out. Again, these are the tools that you're giving him uh, to, for the RPO game in your indie drills in your group work. And place this guy catching the football in a bunch of different spots. Like right here, we're practicing missile. Next time, you can have him over here. You're practicing stick. You can have him run a speed out, okay? A bunch of different things that you can do within your indie drills to work that stuff all the time. That way, they're getting it in indie. They're getting it in group. And then they're getting it in team, okay? Now he's going hard way. So the back, all right, is to him here, okay? Or it could be to him here, all right? Let's say back is over here, all right? Now he's got to throw to his same size shoulder over here. So he's got to pop pop ball pop pop ball turn it two like a shortstop same thing catch and throw get the ball out strip it down to the essentials Kyle Orodzanski is the offensive coordinator and quarterback coach at the University of Finley. He's also a former quarterback of mine at Baldwin-Wallace University. He strips it down to the essentials by taking everything out of the play except for the quarterback and running back mesh and the route. The coach serves as the key defender that must be controlled for the play to work. Coach Orodzanski explains the drill in this video. Again, it do, it's not overly complicated. All right, but it gets their eyes again and again and again and again. All right, this is something we went to two years ago. And like I said, we're a big R RPO team. All right, what we will do, all right, is our running backs coaches right there, our receivers coaches right there. All right, and I'm going to wander around and look like an idiot. But um, it get, we, what we've done is we've stripped everything in the RPO away except for the mesh, excuse me, the receiver's route and the read for the quarterback, all right? So right here we have, we're simulating the safety, we're simulating the corner, all right? And we're reading it with the mesh, all right? Our quarterbacks may only get, I don't know, five to seven reps of true RPO in a scout team setting during a week but they're going to get 25 to 30 of them in an RPO period to go along with that. So we're going to make sure that we're getting those reps. All right. We got the receiver reading his release, right. And making his post snap adjustment, right. He's getting another rep of working that stem and widening that corner right there. The quarterback's doing a great job with his eyes on that safety, right. Our tailback's doing a great job of making sure that he's hitting the timing right? Because he's not allowed to move for us until the ball hits the quarterback's hands, right? So you got really good timing right there, all right? And now our quarterback's getting another rep of making that shot right there. Work multiple components. James Vint, former offensive coordinator at Escatado High School in Texas, breaks down the components of every RPO from pre-snap read and throw to either side as well as the quarterback and running back mesh, and he works up to 12 players into each rep. With this setup, he's able to get 50 reps of his pre-snap RPOs, but this could also be implemented from a post-snap RPO. Let's take a look at the video. So the next installation element is what we call our RPO drill. So this is, we typically are going to work this down at the five yard line. Uh, that way we are not gassing our guys because we want them to finish in the end zone. Here we're running it from the 10. Now if they're not going very hard, we'll back this up. But we did make the mistake the first year we started to work this drill and it's basically a variation of the old option drill. But when we first installed this, we had them going from the 20 yard line and and they were they were gassed so what we're doing here is we have a quarterback here in the middle and a running back and they're executing the the inside zone read player whatever our inside run is down below 
you can see we're working the now screen and we've got a quarterback throwing that and he's going to pick the football up off the ground because we don't have enough guys to have someone snap to him we've got another quarterback up top who's also throwing the now screen and down uh if you look to the left side here we're working on a cloud corner and on the right side here they're working on having to read this thing out and we'd like to see our number two receiver be a little bit faster so we've got all three elements being run right now and you can see the number of guys that are getting work this is a really good drill to be able to use all right here's the next rep of it and you can see we're given the same look now we're just working the zone read on the other side and now what we're doing with the quarterback in the red there that middle quarterback is he's simulating an actual post snap rpo where we've got him riding the 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 running back and then pulling and faking a throw uh, after giving the football. Now here you can see where we had a lot of players, and, and this is what we love about this RPO drill. We're using barrels for offensive linemen. Here we're in a, an 11 personnel look, and we've got a quarterback throwing the now screen up top. We've got a quarterback and a running back right here executing our inside run. We've actually got a second back, so we're in a two-back look, and they're executing an isolation play or a, or a power play executing ISO here and then we've got the quarterback down below and he's actually instead of throwing a hitch to the single receiver what we've got him throwing and I know we're playing Canadian football with 12 right now it's okay for the drill we're throwing a fade down there so he's catching and throwing a goal line fade we've got another quarterback and running back executing the read play and then we've got another quarterback who's throwing the fast screen up top so we're working all elements of our pre-snap RPOs here and getting a lot of players involved so we can get 50 or 60 guys through get each one of them eight or ten reps and it gives you some quality work so we call this our rpo drill and it's a phenomenal drill to get your guys in a position where they can practice each element of your pre-snap rpos with everything you do you want to build a teaching progression of drills. Beaumont High School head coach Jeff Steinberg likes to create a progression of drills working the RPO from isolated key read with the quarterback running back and receiver to half line and then half line with three receivers. He gives an overview of how all of this works and how you can apply it to your RPOs. So there's some ideas from four coaches, some simple warm-up drills to drills every player so there's some, so there's, so there's some drills from our, so there's some great drills there from our four coaches with simple warm-up drills to drills with every skill player involved. Repping the RPO is essential if you want to work it consistently in beating the defense. I hope you enjoyed this one. Please go to coachingcoordinator.com for more information, links to episodes, and other resources. You can sign up there for our weekly newsletter which shares our you can sign up there for our weekly newsletter which shares our top tips for the week as well as featured resources and enhanced show notes. So this is an example of one of our best RPO drills that we'll do. We'll run mesh points with the quarterbacks and running backs. And at the same time, we'll have a player be a service player in this, in this drill, and he's going to either squeeze for the run or he's going to drop to the receiver running his route on the, on the play. And the quarterback and running back are going to execute their mesh point. And as the quarterback seats the ball, he's going to get his eyes on that defender. He's going to be the key. And if that defender squeezes the box, the ball's coming out, the running back's going to run, and stay on his track and the ball's gonna come out and he's gonna throw whether it's the slant or the hitch or whatever uh, route you wanna incorporate. And then if that, if that uh, player stays outside, we're gonna finish with executing the run and then as our hands come out, we're gonna finish by uh, simulating a throw to that player. Next one we like to work is as a half line. So again, we will have players in the box, we'll have an end, a tackle, and a backer and we will run uh, our, our replay on that. So whether we're leaving the end unblocked or the outside linebacker unblocked, and we will execute that run component. 
and then at the same time, the quarterback now is going to read that defender whether he should uh, give the ball on run or pull and throw the ball to the receiver. And we can work this with both one receiver, two receivers, and three receivers. So there's some great drills there from our four coaches with simple warm-up drills to drills with every skill player involved. Repping the RPO is essential if you want to work it consistently in beating the defense. I hope you enjoyed this one. Please go to coachingcoordinator.com for more information, links to episodes, and other resources. You can sign up there for our weekly newsletter, which shares our top tips for the week, as well as featured resources and enhanced show notes. Be sure to check the description for the link to all of these courses, some valuable resources there for you to prepare for this season and get your team going with the RPO.